point. The window is very small. It's going to be seen right there. They're going to land the Sonic Wave. There's the stun, Flash Play, and that's it. Yeah, no Flash available. They might even get a second kill. It's level one from the Annie. Will auto attacks be enough? Eve's there to really pressure the turret dive, which is going to be a one for one trade. Eve has to back away. Drew a teleport from Maokai as well, but overall a two for one trade for Anakin. And so wasn't able to make it up there in time. Had Annie been in proper position under the turret, that would have been a very different story. Now they're going to try Flash, Twisted Advance, Eve unburrows. Ixu may have just killed himself right there. Flash, Lyra going to get the kill. Luna's back, however. Doesn't have stun up, though. The auto attacks are strong. Very nice bounce. Going to get at least one kill. Many ways still alive means Ixu might make it away. And that slow probably cements that. But Kuve getting the kill right there is the big, big difference against this Maokai crown. And there's a flash and the... There hasn't been a kill for two minutes. I kind of lost interest here, Monty. What, what's, what's interesting you? Uh, Snowflower actually getting stunned right there. Standing in the gravity field for that Chaos Storm was uh, quite interesting. He. He went for the Hail Mary hook while standing at the gravity field. Like a 50-50, if he actually hit that hook, he may have been able to get the kill, but sure looked silly when he didn't. Oh, nice play, though. Yeah, played out of the Valkyrie. Nice flash. Flash still available uniquely, but with the on-the-hunt pop, it's going to be a kill. Well, they donated over, they do. Rek'Sai Tremor sends, spots out Cassidy, but Cassidy is pretty tanky. It's not really the burst damage unless he just sits on a gravity field, but Snowfall has already shown that there's always that possibility. Uh, Luna's sitting here waiting to flash. There we go. He's going to flash in right now. There's the W, and Mickey is just going to get chain CC'd to death. Uses his flash peculiarly. It was never going to be able to get away with the cooldown on the Riftwalk, still above five seconds, so falls with his flash down. Now, uh, Kuve doing a lot of work in the top side, actually using his ults in that Meganar form, bullies Ixu out of lane. It's going to be an opportunity, though, considering the TP is up for Maokai. Lyra coming up. He's got the Warrior in chat. He may have the damage. Flash, Twisted, Advance. Kube going to get kicked and knocked around. Hex Drinker doesn't save him. Yes. OK. Well, happy, happy error. <laughs> Trades really starting to stick for Mickey. They're very one-sided. Once again, opts into standing on the gravity field. Not interested in the CC effects there whatsoever. Maybe it's because there's so much cavalry around Lyra and he was, Snowflower. He was trying to bait Crown into an all-in. And there we go. Lyra's going to come through. Forces that flash out, but Lyra pays for it. Eve with the follow-up. Kuve going to TP in at the same time. Any uh, words, Monty? No, I just think it's really not very good this early on in the game. Kuve about to go Meganar. The timing couldn't be better. And there's a flash right onto Ixu. Maybe not wanting to go for that. Maokai, Luna gets kicked out. Kuve starts getting focused right in the front lines. He's going to go down in Meganar form. Eve trying to follow up Fury with a lot of rockets. The crown will be focused as well. They just collapse on him. And honestly, that was Luna yep. just... Luna's recall, and they have nobody even close. Rek'Sai tunnels in, but he's only tunneling into the Wraiths. Right now, he's going to have the Tremor sense to see some action around Baron, but he's going to be surprised to find that it's already gone. It is already gone. E very quickly focused. Snowflower coming up with the hook, and now they are on the run. Very hard. They're actually just going to pile on through. They find Crown, who's standing right in the back. He's going to keep kiting out, but it's not going to be enough. Sung Yoon going to pick up the first kill onto Luna, and Samsung desperately trying to defend Ixu, just taking the turret right now, and that is going to be a couple of kills in favor of Anarchy. Mickey with a kill himself. More hooks flying out from Snowflower. And man, you just got to take this guy's thresh away. And you just got to have to respect the fact that Anarchy are the one team to really make those decisive engages. They're happy to tear it up, but they feel powerful. Kuve turns into Meganar. Double, double now ultimate significant. Remember, in the back line, Corky and Crown are free hitting. But with Lee Sin with the kick, it won't matter. Oh, wow. Lyra going back in again. That flash will be his doom. But pretty fancy footwork on that Lee Sin right there, flying from one target to the next. Tanking the aggro, they can dive for days, and Lyra awkwardly even as Lee Sin pushing, but there's the ultimate. Yeah, they're going to try and dive this. Mickey finds Luna immediately, and there is Ixu right into the mix. Mickey with the Zonia's Hourglass in the middle of the composition. Kube in the back line, but he gets focused down. Mickey dies, however, to Eve, so both players in the mix, and there is Eve. He's still going in. Crown is very high HP. Get enraged. 
before that bar goes down. Song Yoon just solos out Luna on the side. Luna not having a good game tonight. A lot of missed anti stuns, a lot of miss ults. And then poor positioning leads to his death. And now it's time for the base to be completely eradicated. The tutorial approach being taken by Anakin. And why not? They're waiting for minions to push into the bottom side. An inhibitor turret, there's nothing they can do. They have to respect both Mickey and Sung Yoon. And this should be the decisive final push. Should be indeed Mickey. Gets that void. Okay, here we go. Eve just gonna try and get onto Ixu right here. Ixu tanking a turret. He's taking a lot of damage. Kube still throwing boomerangs in. Snowflower is actually gonna die to Kube. They still have a lot of turret aggro. I don't know if Anarchy is actually gonna have the HP to see this game out. Song Yu nearly dying. Mickey in the back does pop the Zonius, but there's nothing else there for him. He's gonna get focused out and killed. They tanked way too many turret shots over the course of that fight. Yeah, after their clean turret diving, that one was definitely a pair of turrets too far, such as the Nexus turret's power. And Katie Rolster versus IM looms large in our memories that it is conceivable for them to come back. Just unlike. Very, very unlikely. They're still taking every shot they have, though. Kube in the base. Kube with teleport. And his Narbar is full. He is Meganar right now. Will he actually TP in? Lyra gets focused early. Even Lyra low. And there's Kube with a Nar onto Sogyun in the back. Sogyun's getting stunned and actually just chained. Corky, Fury cleaning up. Holy cow, but Mickey is there. Mickey is still with the damage. And Ixu, oh man, Fury so close. Kube, there's no one to stop the super minions. So an apocalyptic final battle that Anarchy Goes even in, gets the double kill, but that's going to be it. The minions do the dirty work, Monte Cristo. Take out the game. You can opt into a fight with three inhibitors down. Samsung tried it. Look, the fight actually went pretty well, but the result was not in doubt. Yeah, Fury doing a lot of work in spite of how hard of a time he had earlier in this game. Anarchy will take game one. <laughs> and hoping that his teammates will be there, particularly his jungler, to back him up. Right on schedule, the zone comes through. Eve is gonna face check a lot of damage. And there's the tempered fate coming in. It's not gonna hit anybody, and there is Mickey already with the first blood into this game. They are camping that red buff. They had their eyes on the prize, and now... Okay. Still may see a dive here. Explosive cast back up. Actually hasn't been spotted by a ward. Here's the engage coming through. Gragas, does he have the ultimate? He does. Pushes away Sung Yun. Can he live? A lot of damage onto Luna. The last turret hit kills him. And a one for one with three members committed. Anarchy will take that. Yeah, they definitely will, especially since there's no follow-up possible. Maybe this Zed Roam will make it pay off and they can take a turret, but once again, the pink ward, he spotted it before and it hasn't been cleared out. And here we go, Kuve already ulted by Ixu right there. There's an equalizer, Kuve gonna flash, Mickey finds himself on the equalizer, and that is going to be the death mark popping for the kill. Hard to say whether they had the full information and we're gonna look for. Push forward, they actually assign Corky into top right now and just leave Azir by himself. Here we might see another dive, Mickey and Lyra working together. Man, that bottom lane has no HP. There is no equalizer yet. It's almost up. Death mark onto Luna. There's the exhaust onto Mickey off her. Mickey getting bounced around, but he pops the Bard, actually getting knocked there by the explosive cask into the, the he, range. He actually flashed onto Bard with the E auto attack with the passive. Sung Yun's going to get caught in the transition, though. Trinity Force Corky is a scary proposition. And this is going to be an all-in. Well, Crown is here. Can he push it back? He pushes him into the turret right there. There's the equalizer down there, caught in the turret. And Lyra definitely going to fall. So Crown there with the turnaround kill, but they lose Kuve. He's getting his way with things. Crown doesn't have Zonius. And there's the knockback onto Mickey. Mickey's going to go in. He's exhausted right now. He's running under the turret. Hexdrinker is popped. But that is a shutdown kill for Crown as he has to return within range of the Sand Soldier. Sang Yun. Anarchy have found their way with Barons twice already, and they have a lot of Baron damage. With Mickey showing, it seems like they don't respect the Baron threat of the other four. But can they get the ult off? Bardult could stop this. Bardult is not going to stop this. Bard is instead just going to go back through the magical journey, try and get that stun. He will get it, not before Ixu comes in with the ultimate. Eve isolated right there, has to body slam and cask his way out. Fury trying to kite desperately. Crowd flashes over the wall. Mickey's there. Bardult comes in. Crowd is dead to rights, though as he falls in the back. 
purely Rumble has not impacted this fight at all. Gonna flash over his Sung Yoon. Fury's alive as well. Target selection for Anarchy, not the best, and Rumble's coming in with the Equalizer. Yeah, they have to back out right now. So many ults used. And Summoners use Eve coming in for the kill. Fury snakes it. Fury and Ixu going in. Fury taking a lot of damage right there, but he's backed up by the Bard. Snowflower here as well. Ixu getting chunked out pretty heavily, though. And there's the Tempered Fate. They want to go in on this, but there's a lot of backup. Crown's there, too. Phosphorus Bomb, Explosive Casket. Ixu's going to get out. But who else may die? Snowflower still cc to death. Sanyu getting there late with the calling. Mickey, however, putting a lot of damage down onto this bottom turret. Equalizer there. Uh, a bit questionable right there. Here's a TP coming into the minion. Mickey going to have to back off. Ixu wants to get the engage, wants to get the tower. He will find it, but everyone is there to shut him down. Ixu can't move and is dead, but does get the turret. And not pop, death mark, not going to be enough. Flashes right there, bit of a duel. Crown coming into that side, equalizer laid down. There's the poke from the sand soldiers. There's the movement of the soldiers. Is it going to be enough? Hex drinker pop. Meanwhile, Anarchy finds a fight on the other side. Luna dies. Fury over the wall with the Valkyrie. Eve looking for that escape. Phosphorus bomb going to deal some damage, and they're going to get out. Crown takes down Mickey, so they wow. Once they committed to Crown Bane, that is the re-engage though. In comes Ixu, he gets the Terrify, but has to back away. The health bars aren't that high, but Sung Yun's free hitting in the back Crown's line. in there, there's a big Emperor's Divide, and Fury's able to rain rockets in, he's out of mana. Crown still getting a lot of auto attacks off, nobody can get him in that choke, and he's gonna take one more down. Fury with the double kill, there's the, wow, not quite triple Crown with the very late Zonias to stay alive. But what a choke. For Azir that to was fight a, in. That was a really good Azir play. So Samsung just falling apart here. If they were a little bit more decisive, they could win this. Now Anarchy finds themselves with an advantage. Kuve drops Equalizer, but that's not going to be enough. Flash goes down. Crown going to get knocked out of his recall. Fury makes it back to base, but that is it for Crown. Pop. But there's the Zonias. Goodbye. Getting a decent amount of autos off. They're actually running pretty low. Anarchy wants to take down the three inhibitors. Snowflower low. Is there enough follow-up? Fury trying to make plays. Flashes for the kill. I don't think that a kill on a support is going to be quite worthwhile, however. With the long death time, as Samsung want picks and trying to finish the game, they know that their base... Hey, look, they already lost the game to a, the inhibitors being down last game. They need the picks now to try and finish. Teleport from Rumble to push down the mid lane, or at least to catch whoever is retreating as Lyra dies. Well, they now have the opportunity to get Dragon number five. Yeah, if he dies also, it'll probably be the death nails. PVE is definitely the order of the day for Samsung. Uh, Eve on the retreat, now he's gonna get caught out. Death Mark onto Eve, Tempered Fate's gonna keep him alive for just a little bit. That's gonna deny the Death Mark. Equalizer comes in, Eve stays alive! Summoner heal, they're gonna fight under an Azir turret, but that is just Anarchy piling through, that's gonna be it. Double kill for Song Yoon as everyone starts to go down. Luna finds himself magically journeying, not into the afterlife this time, just back to his fountain, and Fury doing what he can, but that's gonna be the 2-0 for Anarchy. And man, Samsung, you gotta work on that late game shot calling because it just wasn't there. They weren't willing to commit to their advantages. So the first 2-0 for Anarchy, they played well, but Samsung had everything ready for them. Just use that tempered fate to just cancel out those first couple of turret hits, win the 5v4 and win the game. Man, the late games. How do these Samsung fans keep coming up, Monte Cristo? Because the heart palpitations are real. Yeah, well, I mean, it's so unfortunate because Samsung legitimately did a good job of getting themselves in a, back in a position where they could win that game, but they got so gun-shy, they couldn't pull the trigger when it really mattered. At a certain point, you just have to say, we can win this base race. We have the tools to win this base race and just go for it. And it doesn't get any better than that. Azir, Corky with the Trinity Force, the ability to just burn down these towers. Like you said, you have the tempered fate, you have the bar.